Oh my god, Sean, where are you? What's going on? Where have you been? I got very sick. Uh, so sick, in fact, that I thought I was going to die last week. I mean, that's clickbait, but I did get very, very sick. Oh, hold on a second there, Jimbo. Don't go into the video any further until you've heard a very special message from our sponsor today. Me. There's a very limited edition, very stylish Jacksepticeye U2s coming out. Look at that dancing little boy in there. Don't you want one for yourself? This is my own very special, very limited edition vinyl figure. It's coming out on St. Patrick's Day as an Irish drop. The look of the Irish is with us that day. So it's a very, very limited supply. It's only a one-time run to keep up really high quality and high standards. And it is very high quality. There's more inside this guy's brain than there is inside my own head. That doesn't even make any sense. So set your alarms, set your roosters outside. I don't care what you set. These are coming on St. Patrick's Day and they're going to be gone very, very quickly. So if you want to get one, you're going to have to go to YouTube. You know, I'll, I'll just show you. Three, two, one. Go to youtube.com slash product slash jacksepticeye. There'll be a link in the description so you don't actually have to type it in. Height, 4.7 inches. Just like real life, it's life size. But what I really like about this, and we're gonna have some fun with it, is that they've uploaded a 360 degree view of the figure. There you go, beautiful Jack from all angles. And what I'm going to do is set you guys a task. I want you to make the best memes that you can out of this figure. It has all the angles that you're gonna to need to make all the high quality memes that you want. And go to the subreddit, r slash jacksepticeye. There will also be a link to that in the description. And upload your memes there. And I will be picking out some of the best memes for people who will get a free signed version of this figurine. So go now, click the link in the description. Get yourself a Jacksepticeye you choose and make the memes. Now, back to other Jack who's gonna tell you a story about him being very sick. And then it just came and like pierced right through my heart. Oh, hey, you're back. So what happened? I actually don't really know. I Let's go all the way back to like two and a half to three weeks ago when I went to VidCon UK. It was all in London. I had never gone to a VidCon in London at all. I barely ever go to any sort of European convention, so I thought, great, VidCon, it's in London, it's close by, it's only like an hour and 45 minute drive from here. I'll go to that and I get to finally meet a lot of the European audience who normally never get to be able to afford to go to all the American conventions. It was very fun. I had a great time. I got to hang out with some of my friends there. Aaron and Brent came over. I got to hang out with PJ and Sophie and all those beautiful people. And I got to meet a lot of you guys. I got to do a signing, a panel. Everything was great. Until about four days after I came back, three days, I had to get a tooth removed. I had a rogue tooth that used to stick out the side of my jaw here. Uh, that I thought would have to be removed years ago, never was, but now I'm getting Invisalign, so they were like, that's gotta go because it'll move all the bones and everything to try and get that in and it'll take probably twice as long just to get it in and I'm like, you know what, take the tooth! I don't need it, it's stupid! It doesn't even pay rent in my mouth! But after I got the tooth removed, I went home, I didn't feel great, I started to get a bit of a cold, uh, I started to get stuffed up, I started to get a runny nose and I thought, uh-oh, I got sick. Couple of days go by, my throat starts to get a little scratchy because my nose is all bunged up and I'm just sleeping in bed like... My mouth open all night. Perfect time for spiders to get in. And then one day I woke up, I was floored. I was very, very sick, just completely bunged up in my head. But at these current times in the world we're living in right now, the paranoia kind of sets in because everyone's talking about coronavirus, everyone's talking about COVID-19 as it's actually called. And I, I legitimately did start to get a little paranoid because going to a convention, which was not the best idea, but back then it wasn't as bad as it is now. And I, I was sanitizing, I was washing, I was being very careful with my hands, but I did meet a lot of people, gave a lot of hugs, gave a lot of handshakes, what have you. Not the smartest decision on my part. We probably should have had everyone sanitized before they came up, but I didn't want to feel like I was being rude, even though I feel like I was well within my rights to do so. Whatever. Water under the bridge. But I, I didn't, like, get a fever. I didn't get a cough. These are the things that people say are symptomatic of coronavirus. But it was still, like, a little paranoid, wondering if I really did take all the precautions. And as someone who has asthma, I was kind of worried about it as well, because shortness of breath is also a byproduct of that, or a symptom of it. Uh, whatever. A couple of days go by, started getting a little bit of a cough, started to get a little more worried. Then... 
it, it kind of just passed, like the head cold started to drift out, it all started to like, uh, like drain out of my head. And I was like, okay, it was just a head cold, I'm fine. And then one morning, uh, we didn't eat anything crazy, we've eaten at this particular place many, many times, me and my girlfriend, and she wasn't sick at all. And one morning I woke up, I was boiling alive in bed, and I thought, uh oh, I have a fever now, that's even scarier. And, okay, I want to overshare a little bit. I woke up and I really had to go to the bathroom. Not out of this end, out of the other end. Mm -hmm. I have never gotten food poisoning before in my entire life. I had no idea what it was actually like to feel poisoned by food, the thing that you're supposed to put in your mouth anyway. And I was just running back and forth to the bathroom all morning. I was buckled over in like, stomach cramps, I felt awful, I was really hot and bothered, and I thought, oh god, no. This is getting worse. Thankfully, that passed very quickly. It only lasted like two days, and I thought, man, did I really just get food poisoned after having a really bad cold? And then, it got even worse, because I was standing around one day, and suddenly I started to feel short of breath. And then, it started to get even more worrisome. Now, I'm not trying to, like, fear monger or anything like that with this video. I'm just trying to tell you what exactly happened to me and my thought process going through it. I'll get to a point eventually. But I was getting very worried, I because again, I have asthma and all of these different things lining up. I was like, it could be this thing, it could be that thing, could be food poisoning, could be a cold, could be a flu, could be worse. So I started to get short of breath and I thought, okay, it's time to make a doctor's appointment because I'm starting to actually get worried. And if it is an asthma thing, I should definitely go to the doctor anyway because I've had asthma as a kid. I got to like my teenage years, I used to take inhalers every morning and every night just to make sure my airways were open and they stayed open. Um, if any of you know, if any of you have taken inhalers, I took a, a blue one and a brown one. Any of you in the same boat? Asthma gang. And I... I, I haven't had taken inhalers in years. When I was in my teen years, they were like, you don't really need these anymore because your asthma is not bad anymore. And they said that you've kind of grown out of it a little bit. I still had kind of sports asthma when you run around and you get a little short of breath that way, but it passes really quickly. But this was not passing. And a couple of days go by before the doctor was ready and before my appointment could actually be made. So, but by the time I actually got to go to the doctor, Everything had finally like cleared out of my system. I woke up. That was the first morning. I woke up feeling really good Of course the day I'm actually going to the doctor and when I went there did a bunch of checks Of course they have to check to make sure okay is a coronavirus or not because it's a it's a very Sensitive time let's say I'm trying to choose my words carefully because I don't want to add to the fear and panic of things that's going on because I'm very well aware of the influence the words that I'm using have right now for the amount of people who are probably watching this video. But I went in, we did a bunch of tests, checked my lungs, he did a bunch of tests that way, and got the all clear, I was fine. I got blood tests, they all came back fine, I'm a little low on vitamin D. But everything seemed fine. Everything they took seemed good. My, my breath capacity or my peak flow, as they call it, is a little on the lower side for someone of my age and height. But that's, again, part of the asthma. It's, it's nothing more. I've done these peak flow tests, and, and if anything, my lung capacity's gotten better than the last time I took one when I was a teenager. So, gave me an inhaler. As soon as I took that, perfect. Everything's back to normal. I felt perfectly healthy once more. But the thing, <laughs> the thing about it all was, after doing a lot of the tests, he turned to me and he was like, in all honesty, you could have had it in regards to Corona, but now it's gone. And I was like, um, excuse me, you don't just drop that on somebody like that. I, I didn't have it, of course not. I, I didn't have a fever, I didn't have a cough, I was taking my temperature very regularly. All the symptoms that should have gotten worse over time did not get worse. If anything, they just went away very quickly, and I don't think it would go away that quickly. But I did have that moment where I was like, oh god, okay, time to start thinking of game plans and time to, like, work everything out and go to the doctor, just make sure everything's in the clear. Thankfully, I'm perfectly healthy again. It was just a cold. Then I got food poisoned, and because I went through so much, my asthma was like, you know what, I'm gonna come back because everybody else is coming back. Um, but now I'm, I'm perfectly healthy again. But I'm taking it easy. That's why I haven't uploaded any videos. I actually haven't recorded in over a week. The last videos that you guys saw were stuff that I had prepped in advance. 
and I, I was like, I was gearing up to do a lot more videos again, and then I got sick, so I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll just pepper these out, and then whatever I don't have, I don't have. But in this last week, I've started to just think about things a lot more and reflect on things a bit, and just kind of get my head in order of what I want to do when I come back. Um, I'm probably still going to take a little bit off. I'm not going to come back to videos fully yet. I'll do a little bit here and there. I do want to do the, the YouTube's meme thing soon before the actual uh, YouTube's figure comes out. But I am taking it easy. I'm taking this time to kind of de-stress and relax my body and not do anything too hectic and not record a billion videos in one day and then prep for weeks and weeks and weeks or anything like that. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take this as like a nice sign to be like, you know what? Just relax a little. In the last week, I finally got around to playing Soma for the first time, Frictional's game that I had never fully finished. And phenomenal game. I highly recommend all of you play it. So goddamn good. Story's excellent. Horror's excellent. Scenery's excellent. The sound design is probably the best part of the game. Uh, I finally got around to watching Chernobyl, which we watched one episode after coming back jet lagged from somewhere. Didn't like it. And thought, okay, everybody else loves it. I should give it a chance. Finally ended up watching it. Fucking loved it. Amazing. And now that that guy who wrote that is making a Last of Us HBO show, I was like, I got to check out what this guy has done with this to see what it's going to be like. And now I'm very, very excited. But the point I want to make with this video, again, is to not instill fear in people and make everybody worry that every tiny symptom they have is coronavirus. Because again, I don't want to make light of what's going on. I don't want to make a joke out of it. And I don't want to talk about it in a manner that makes me feel like I'm not taking it seriously. I do take it very seriously. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not going to get into the details of what it is and how to prevent it, or not so much how to prevent it, but the ins and outs of what it causes and everything. Because I'm not an expert on it. I don't think you should go to a fucking YouTuber who's not educated on it to <laughs> get your information about it. All I will say is, please, for the love of God, be safe, be cognizant of what you're doing. It's very hard to change muscle memory. I'm a, I'm a face toucher by nature. I, I pick my nose every now and then when something crusty gets up in there and my nose gets dry. A lot of this stuff I had to kind of like change my habits a little bit. Just wash your hands very diligently. Don't just run your hands underwater and think you're done. Please take this seriously. Please go out there and be aware of other people around. Don't... You know, just use your head. It's not that hard. It's one of those things that... We shouldn't have to say like, hey, wash your hands. It's something that everyone should be doing anyway. I wash my hands very diligently anyway, but even now I'm being just extra careful. Just be safe. Look after yourselves. Try not to go out when you don't need to. Just follow all the information from places online that are telling you what to do and how to prepare for it and how to avoid unnecessary risks. Because it is, it is a, a difficult time we're going through right now. Um, a lot of events are getting cancelled. TwitchCon in Europe just got cancelled. I was planning on going to that. Um, I think, I'm not sure, I haven't heard a single thing about it yet, and I'm not speaking as an authority on this, but I am curious what VidCon LA is going to do, because I did plan on going to that one next. Um, but it seems like that might get cancelled eventually. Again, I know nothing about it. I'm not saying it as any sort of insider information, so don't go around saying, Hey, it's cancelled! I have no idea. It's just everything else is getting cancelled right now. The NBA got cancelled. Flights to and from Europe are cancelled, except UK to America. It's, it's a very difficult time we're going through right now. I think that we're all going to get through it. I think I'm very optimistic about the outcomes and where things are going. But that does not mean that you should be flippant with what's going on. And I think that you should be very aware of it, read up on it, talk to people about it, don't make any unnecessary trips or unnecessary social gatherings, just to make sure. Um, because the last thing we want is this thing to spread even more. So I'm being, I'm being a bit more responsible in that regard. I'm trying not to go out and just... Even when I was actually sick with my cold, I didn't go out and meet friends or anything because they, they were all meeting up and I was like, I'm going to stay at home, guys. As much as I want to go out and hang out with you guys, I'm just going to stay at home just to make sure that I don't get you sick in any way, shape or form. So um, any sort of, I mean, I had no social events coming up soon anyway, but just be careful, be safe out there and, and take care of yourselves, please. Again, I'm being very careful with the words that I'm using because I don't want to add to the fear and panic that's going on in the world. Um, that's not my intent with this video at all. I just want people to know where I was and I wanted to do it in a story time fashion, but I'm probably going to be on off YouTube 
in the next couple of days, in the next week. I don't know, I'm just not really in the mood to record things anyway. I don't feel like I'm at 100% in regards to my energy levels um, and my motivation to actually record. I'm taking this time to actually sit back, relax, catch up on stuff that I've missed and just do some extra stuff that I don't have to sit here and yell at a camera as much. So thank you guys for understanding that and I'll be back eventually whenever I'm at full capacity again. I think that's it.